goaltender for the Jets. And Jamie Storr, lots to look forward to as we set you up for the Jets and Kings. Let's go to Inglewood, California, and Scott Russell. Well, thanks very much, Ron. You know what they say? They say a surefire recipe for a great hockey game is when the two teams who are playing have a sense of desperation. That might be the case here. The Kings have worked hard, but they have no wins in four starts. And the Winnipeg Jets have two losses on this California road trip. Uh, now they have to get better, and the question is, what tools will they use to get better in this shortened NHL season? Well, the 1993-94 NHL season was a marathon at 84 games in in the previous year, the longest in NHL history. And in this endurance test, both the LA Kings and the Winnipeg Jets were also Rams, missing the playoffs. The current 48-game schedule is more like a sprint to the finish, but who has the legs to get to the wire? Is it the Jets, led by young American Captain Keith Kachuk? Winnipeg, one of the youngest teams in the league. Contrast that with the Kings led by Canadian icon Wayne Gretzky. The great one and his LA contingent have 11 players 30 plus on the roster. This matchup features experience versus youth. The Kings and Jets symbolic of that age factor called the Great Divide. Now the LA Kings as we said have 11 players 30 or older but to Marty McSorley that may be a blessing in disguise. Well, I think that we have to use age intelligently. We're going to gain a lot of experience. We have to get, still get a lot from our young players. But when you have the age in the players like Wayne Gretzky, uh, Yari Curry, Charlie Huddy, Pat Conacher, those are smart men who know how to play their role. Some of them are lead our team. Other ones are role players. Uh, the young guys, we've got spotted in, in and amongst them that really picked them up. The age has helped teaching the young guys, and the young guys are motivating the older guys. We're in a shortened season, which helps the older guys. We're fine with it. Marty McSorley and the LA Kings versus the young Winnipeg Jets. We're ready for the first period. Let's go upstairs and join Chris Cuthbert and John Garrett. Thank you, Scott. Good evening, everybody. The Kings and Jets both in dire need of a victory as they get set to face off tonight at the Great Western Forum. Well, it's been a roller coaster start for Tim Shevelday. Monday against Chicago, first star, 40 saves. But Wednesday in San Jose, he was pulled after 14 minutes and three sharp goals. Back in net tonight for the Winnipeg Jets. At the other end, two-time World Junior gold medalist Jamie Stower starts for Los Angeles, looking for his first NHL win. But, John, he's looked very good in his two starts so far. And very calm and cool for a youngster. The players are talking about it. The coaches are talking about it, how cool he's been. Well, there is Terry Gregson ready to face it off between Kevin Todd and Alexi Jamnov. We're underway in Los Angeles with Rob Blake sending it in. Wayne Gretzky is in the lineup for the Los Angeles Kings. Did not skate this morning because of the flu, and there was some question of whether he would play. Here's Eric Lacroix, the former Maple Leaf, who scored his first NHL goal earlier in the week, and Todd battling for the Kings. Kevin Todd trying to sweep out in front. He's being closely watched by Teppo Newman, and Tamo Solani will take over. Coming into today's action, tied for the lead in scoring in the NHL. Ahead to Jamnov and Solani. Ten goals in ten career games against the Kings. Jitnik on him, and it's Todd. Along the boards, Drews looking for the puck. It comes free for Blake, and now out on the right side. And John Drews will clear it down into the Winnipeg zone as we hit the one-minute mark here in Los Angeles. Good start for the L.A. Kings checking line. They had more pressure than the Jets' big line. Here's Darren Shannon on the backhand, and Jamie Storr's first test. He holds on. Winnipeg Jets on this road trip, a quick road trip, three games in four nights. Shut out in San Jose, but they played very well in Anaheim last night. Problems on the road for the Jets have, they've been dismal, absolutely dismal. But last night, they outchanced the Anaheim Mighty Ducks 35 to 10. They really dominated the game from start to finish, but they lost. And John Paddock's hoping that his team can build on that and play the same way every night. Most scoring chances, John Paddock was saying, for a Winnipeg Jet team with him behind the bench. And yet they just managed two goals in the loss in Anaheim, a team they've never beaten. Got handled by Storr, cleared around. Darren Shannon can't keep it in, and here comes 99. Wayne Gretzky with Curry on right wing, Rick Tockett on the left side for Los Angeles. Shannon clears it ahead. Thomas Steen passing it back and finds Teppo Newman. Newman to the line. 
Marty McSorley watching him as the puck goes across the goal crease. Here's Curry, outletting to Gretzky. Talk it on the right side as Gretzky hits the line, drops to McSorley, and the shot deflecting into the corner. Gretzky tried to center it, comes to Tockett in front. There's a shot. Nice save by Shevelday. Gretzky behind the net, looking to center. Puck in the goal crease, and it's cleared away by Dave Manson out to center ice. Michelle Petit off the boards as the Kings make a line change. Tim Shevelday with a good save early in the game. Get his confidence going after getting the hook in his last start. Now Robert Long for Los Angeles. Sador pinching up. Cleared by Dallas Drake, and out on the left side, Russ Romanek clears it into the Los Angeles zone. In four, checking is Drake, but the Kings have it, and it's long out to center. The check center ice with the Petit who whipped the wrist shot wide. Around the boards, and here's Drake. Groshek is loose at center ice, couldn't take the pass. Kintel followed up, and offside is the call. 2.50 into tonight's game at the Great Western Forum. In the defense, a good solid hit on Dallas Drake. Drake watched his pass and paid the price. And that has been the theme in Los Angeles so far this year, team toughness. And you'll get a glimpse of one of their big additions, Matt Johnson, 34, is playing on left wing, the former Pete seeing his first NHL action on this ship. Big number 34 is six foot five, 235 pounds. There's McSorley watched by Kachuk, who turns it over for Winnipeg. Kachuk in front, Salani scores! Tamu Salani! Tamu Salani must have had seven quality scoring chances last night, scored on one of them late. Keith Kachuk strips Marty McSorley of the puck. And Solani strong on his stick to the net by Charlie Huddy. Kachuk from McSorley. Huddy looks like he's got Solani, but he doesn't. Solani uses his strength, goes to the net, and tips it by Jamie Storr. Not much chance for Storr as the L.A. defense, the giveaway by McSorley, and then the strength of Solani on Charlie Huddy. Fourth goal at nine point, scoring by number eight, Timo Solani. The assist to number seven, Keith Kachuk. So Kachuk with the lone assist at 317. The Jets have 14 goals this year, and Kachuk and Solani have eight of them. The Winnipeg getting a quick goal here, and that's what they needed after the frustrations last night at the Duck Pond in Anaheim. Rick Tockett, who folks in Los Angeles feel has been the best king so far, lost the puck. On the far side, Steen, and it's cut off by Yari Curry. Up at center ice to Gretzky. Jitnik is in on the rush, but he's offside. One of the things with a fragile confidence with your team, John Paddock talked about it, is getting an early lead. The road games they've been scored on in the first five minutes every road game. And instead, they've been scoring Solani's strength. Charlie Huddy does a good job. He's got position, but he can't tie up the stick. You talk about Solani and you talk about his speed and his grace and his fluid skating style, but he is a strong player in front of the net. He can play like that. Big Dave Manson behind the Winnipeg net and out to center. Rob Blake with it. Sending it ahead. Tock it. Taken to the boards by Manson. And Gretzky will turn at center. Dumps it back, and Curry will go in on the four check as Newman and back to retrieve it for Winnipeg. Up ahead to Darren Shannon. Cross ice pass on the right side. Nelson Emerson was checked. Manson follows up and shoots it in. Four and a half minutes gone. First period, and the Winnipeg Jets on Timo Solani's fourth of the year have a one nothing lead. Neil Wilkinson. Up ahead, Ty Domi on the ice, and now Eagles, who sat out last night. Take Brent Thompson to the boards. King looking for the loose puck, comes back to Kintal. His shot bouncing, and a backhand by Domi goes wide. And Storr will hold on to it at the side of the net. A little pushing and shoving in behind. Good hit by Mike Eagles, who was scratched last night for John Paddock. On uh, Daryl Sador. <laughs> 
Sador is lined up by Eagles. Good clean hit. Elbow down. Good shoulder by Mike Eagles. And he's played his best hockey, or some of his best hockey, against these LA Kings. And the Kings, who were a very dominant home team, struggled last year and have struggled this year at home. That home start, they play seven of their first eight at home. It'd be nice to play a little better at home. You see that schedule when it comes up, you think it's an advantage. But there's Kintel with the shot handled by Storr, but the New York Rangers started with four straight at home and got out of the gate slowly. Especially if you've made a number of changes like the LA Kings, like the New York Rangers, and you're changing your philosophy. And this team is changing its philosophy. They're trying to become a more defensive, bigger grinding team. And playing all these home games, sometimes it's tough to do that because you want to get your system in and yet still be entertaining. Just four even strength goals in four games for Los Angeles. Can tell falling down at the line, but got it in deep. With a big hit along the boards by Kevin Brown, also playing his first NHL game tonight. Donnelly rolling it through, and there's a shot on Day, who kicks it into the corner, but a penalty coming up against the Jets, and it's a hooking call. And the LA Kings have a power play opportunity. Michelle Petit jumping up into the play, and he's done this a couple of times. The good hit by Kevin Brown, again a good clean hit. Elbow down on Chris King. And Michelle Petit jumping up into the play was hauled down and drew the penalty. So Wilkinson in the penalty box for Winnipeg and the Los Angeles Kings will have their first power play chance of the game and it's been a good power play so far this year, five for 23. Michelle Petit jumps up into the play, gets a pass, good save by Day. Wilkinson makes sure Petit doesn't go for the rebound takes the penalty and the Kings have a power play opportunity. They talked about taking too many penalties themselves, playing more discipline, still being aggressive, and now they have a power play opportunity. Gary Curry to take the face off. Gretzky talking. Mick Sorley and Rob Blake with the shot, and it's right on Day, who holds for another face off. Stefan Kutel did a good job on Rick Tockett. Tockett is one of the toughest guys in the league to try and get out from in front of the net. And Kintel took him away from Tim Chevelday and let Chevelday see that long shot. Rick Tockett with one of the breathe right strips on his nose. A lot of the hockey players using those helped them breathe during the games. Once again, Curry wins the face off. Blake, another shot on goal. Gretzky in the corner. Curry will feed it back to Blake. Gary Curry couldn't handle the pass, and Tempo Newman has it, and will clear it back into the Los Angeles zone. Here comes Big Rob Blake. Kachuk and Tockett jostling for it. And I believe it's icing the call against Los Angeles. And Rob Blake didn't like that call. Shot in, and he thought he was over the red line. Acquisition of Rick Taka, they talked about their change of philosophy, going to more toughness, and he's played very well. He's been their best player. You asked their coaching staff who their best player has been, and they naturally mentioned Gretzky, but Rick Taka is right there, quite pleased with his determination. Problem with Taka, games played, you're worried about his injuries, and goals. Luke Robitaille averaged 49 goals a season, and you want production from Taka as well as toughness. A shot by Newman and right on Jimmy Storr. 122 left to the man advantage as Blake leads the Kings to center ice. Shovel day out of the goal and he'll try to clear it, but he hands it right to Gretzky. Gretzky centers it and Curry robbed by Shovel day, who made the mistake by giving it to Gretzky, but atoned with a nice save. Didn't get much help in the corner when he threw it around, but was right there on Curry. Marty McSorley can't barge through, and the Kings sit back again with 55 seconds left in the man advantage. You would blame the goalie on that giveaway. You throw it to the corner, you expect your defenseman there. Here's Gretzky, five of his six points on the power play. McSorley's shot didn't get through. Rob Blake, Gary Curry back to Blake. Here's another shot that hit Tockett doesn't get through. Dave Manson with the chance to clear it. 
Hanks in holding on, and now does with 26 seconds left. I knew you'd come to shovel his defense. Good, good. And Gretzky was cruising at the blue line, couldn't catch up to that loose puck. Kevin Brown took a whack at it, and Manson does for Winnipeg and gets it out, and now just seven seconds left as Storr alerting his teammates, the penalty about to expire. And a high sticking penalty being called. Michelle Petit is going off for high sticking away from the play. The Jets doing a good job killing the penalty. Only one chance for LA, and that was a Yari Curry chance on a giveaway. I didn't see that one, Chris. It was well away from the play. The Jets had iced the puck, and the Kings were on a line change. And Petit, I thought it was a high sticking call by Terry Gregson. He made the high sticking signal. And Petit goes off. Just three seconds left in Winnipeg's penalty, and then the Jets will have their first man advantage of the night. And the Jets with a 1-0 lead on Tamo Solani's fourth of the season from Keith Kachuk. Now Wilkinson is out. And Winnipeg will get their power play alignment out. Thomas Steen to Shannon, to Newmanen. Here's a shot, that's blocked in front. Shannon clears it into the corner. Steen looking to center it. Charlie Huddy on him, and he pushes it ahead to Kevin Todd. Here come the Kings, short-handed, but on the move, it's Conacher. Trying to sweep around Kintel. Buck cleared back out to center ice, and Charlie Huddy, who sat out the last two games for Los Angeles, gets it to Marty McSorley out to center. And that's broken up by Dallas Drake. Kintel waiting for his mates to get on side. In a 13 left in Winnipeg's first power play of the game. They beat it back to the point. Here's a shot kicked out by Storr. And the rebound comes loose and the Kings clear. Talked to the assistant coach, Cap Raider. He said the one thing about Jamie Storr that they'd like to change are the big rebounds. And we saw an example there right back out in front on that long shot from the point. Storr really enjoying the opportunity to work under Cap Raider. Here's Solani with Jamna. Solani feeding it into the slot. Now it comes over to Manson. His shot doesn't get through. Sliding to Storr, who covers up. Daryl Sador and Jamna pushing and shoving. And Sador has put on 15 pounds since last year, and he's playing much stronger for the LA Kings. The Winnipeg Jets scheduled a shortened schedule. Three home games. Their only win coming against Chicago when their power play looked pretty good in that one. They were two for four, and then their shutout lost to San Jose in a game they should have won last night in Anaheim when their power play had 15 shots on goal. Only one for seven, but lots of chances, and Guy Bear was first, second, and third star in that one for the Ducks. Winnipeg one for 15 on the road with the power play so far, and can't keep it in here. Half minute to go, and this man advantage with Michelle Petiot. Jamnov, Solani, and Kachuk up front. Manson with the lead pass on the tape to Solani. The shot that deflects high. Jamnov looking for it along the boards. Kachuk there as well. Back to Manson. Into Solani. Jamna trying to feed it to Solani. That was broken up. And it's cleared down the ice. Race for it. Conacher giving Jason Petit out of the box. Here's a lead pass to Solani at center ice. Tamu Solani fakes the shot around McSorley. Puts it in front and Kachuk had his stick lifted and the Kings turn back. That Conacher at the end of a shift just rolls it in on Shevel Day and heads to the Kings bench. 10 minutes, 20 seconds to go. First period. And the Jets leading the Kings here in Los Angeles, one to nothing. McSorley ahead to Gretzky. And Rick Tockett hits the line. Tockett, wrist shot, shovel day down. And it just fell to the side of the net, cleared, and up comes Grosha. The Jet rookie fires it off Jitnik, comes in front, Jitnik. Has it again and feeds ahead to Gretzky. 
Gretzky hits the line. Over to Jitnik, the shot. Chevalier came well out of his net to challenge the shooter. Jitnik again, centered in front. And Winnipeg will start back. Here's Thompson to Kroshek and a back pass. Dallas Drake just couldn't reach it. And Tockett has Gretzky cruising in center again. Gretzky one-on-one. -on -one. Waiting for some help. Gives off to Sador. Cross ice pass. And it was just off the stick of Donnelly. Starting to open up here at the Great Western Forum. Good play by Zitnik. Up for a good scoring chance. And then the first man back to cancel that two-on-one by the Jets. Some doubt about him playing tonight as Barry Melrose has been sitting people out. Sending some messages in the early going. Kevin Brown leaves for Donnelly. Long behind the net now. Eagles watching him. Robert Long trying to come in front. Sador backhand. Shovel Day looks sharp. And a penalty is coming up. Great pressure by the Kings. 8.49 left in the first. and that uh, I've had that same shot about 10,000 times in my life and uh, nothing has ever come about it. And then uh, last Sunday, Rob Stauber goes down with a broken finger and I'm thrown into the game. And uh, next thing I know, I hurt my knee and I have to finish off the game. And now Rob, uh, Jamie Storr's out there and he's trying to protect the court. All right, we'll get back to you on the next whistle. Up to Chris. And the Kings go to the power play, Scott. Kevin Brown back to the point. Here's his shot. It was blocked. Long knocks it free, though. Donnelly can't handle it. Donnelly along the board, gets it back to Petit, takes the return pass. Cross ice, and Sador trying to turn away from Eagles, puts it right on goal, and the loose puck bounced over the stick of Donnelly, waiting on the goal crease. Donnelly again, in the long, as Broom shoots, and that one ricocheted off Chevalier through the goal mouth, Sador. Kings getting their chances, have outshot the Jets 8-7 now. Back it comes to Sador, tees it up, scores! Good chances on the power play for the LA Kings. Tim Shovel, they can't see the shot from Daryl Sador. A good job in front by Kevin Brown. Brown gets lined up with the shot. Chevelday can't see it at all. It's by him before he gets a little piece of it. Good low shot from Sador. And Chevelday on the screen from Brown can't see it. First goal of the year for Daryl Sador. It's a power play marker for the Los Angeles Kings as they draw even at 11.58 of this first period. Long and Donnelly get assists on the goal. Here's Charlie Huddy on the left wing to talk it. Manson now out of the box. Clears it ahead. Nelson Emerson on Shannon. And Yari Curry starts back. Curry to the line. He's checked. And it's Gretzky at the red line sending it to the blue line and it's called offside. Kelly, you wanted to talk about Jamie Storr, 19 years old. Uh, tell us about him. Well, I think more than anything, what you notice other than his obvious talent is his uh, poise out there and his uh, composure. Just uh, from day one when we first saw him, and uh, I saw him again in the World Championships, the uh, Junior Championships uh, over the Christmas holidays, and he's just outstanding, and I just really like his poise. I'm trying to learn from that. When will you be back? I'm hoping next weekend. All right, Kelly, good luck. Thanks, guys. Kelly Rudy of the Los Angeles Kings. There's a look at Jamie Storr. We'll return to the Great Western Forum in just a moment. Play just underway here at the Great Western Forum. A 1-1 tie with seven minutes to go in the first period between the Jets and the Kings. Solani and Sidor, the goal scorers. For Gretzky by him sliding the length of the ice. Igor Ulanov back to get it for Winnipeg. Ulanov, Solani was streaking down the left wing, but the pass broken up by John Bruce. There's Solani back over to get it. And Thompson turning in his own zone. 
Former Los Angeles King spent three years here, clears it in. Solani trying to hop in to get the loose puck. Jamnov looking for it, but out comes Drews for Los Angeles to Eric Lacroix. And Lacroix clears it over the glass and out of play. A little pushing and shoving Eric Lacroix and Brent Thompson isn't the way it always happens. Kevin Brown, the key player on that goal by Daryl Sador, doesn't even get a point. Long and Donnelly get the assist. Brown, the screen in front of Tim Chevelday. Keith Kachuk set up the Solani goal. They tried Kachuk at center. Uh, tried to spread the wealth uh, for the Winnipeg Jets and get two lines going. But they put Kachuk back with Solani and Jamnov as the center experiment failed as the Jets struggled. And they've got all their eggs in the one basket. Hope the other lines can stay even. And this line will put up some big numbers. Kachuk a lot happier on left wing. Gets to hit more. When you go up and down those boards, it's a lot easier to get hits. Puck just floating in to Shovel Day. He might be one of the best, if not the best, power forward in the NHL right now, Keith Kachuk. Uh, I think you might get some argument from the people in Calgary. We saw in the first game, Gary Roberts, another typical power winger, good hitter. Cam Neely off to a good start. Kings win the draw. Blake fires, they score! one good low shot from Blake Lacroix being congratulated like he did tip that one by Tim Chevelday face-offs in your own zone the Jets who were very good last night on draws lose this one cleanly Blake lets it go Eric Lacroix gets a stick loose and tips it by Tim Chevelday nice deflection scored his first NHL goal against Edmonton now has number two and it's a 2-1 Los Angeles lead Tried to take a shot, but it was blocked. Groshek along the boards. Trying to pry the puck free. Kevin Todd also getting an assist on the go-ahead goal for Los Angeles as they continue the battle along the boards. Puck comes loose. Groshek still looking for it, and now out with it comes Brown. Kevin Brown down right wing, 102 goals the last two years of junior with Detroit. Kings think they have a real find in number eight. Sador back to touch it and icing the call. 5.09 left here in the first period. Kevin Todd with the face-off on the Lacroix goal. Won it cleanly to Rob Blake, and that set it up. Lacroix went to the net as you're supposed to. Perfect shot by Blake. Right along the ice, hard. Lacroix with a stick on it. No chance for Tim Shevelday. Face-offs have been a department that the Kings have dominated so far, but the Jets do win that draw, courtesy of Mike Eagles. And Neil Wilkinson leads the rush for Winnipeg. Wilkinson tripped. And that turned the puck over, and Marty McSorley clears it around the boards and down. Kintel. Oh, Out to center oh, ice. Ty Domi's on the ice. Up against Marty McSorley. Chris King for checking. Just missed Charlie Huddy with a hit. Wilkinson behind the net. Puck sliding past King. And cleared out to center ice. The heavyweight's out there now. Warren Reichel is out for Los Angeles. Eagles off the glass. Huddy wraps it around past Reichel. Dave Manson ahead to Domi. Here's Ty Domi leaving it for Jamnov on the backhand. Slid it through. Domi after it against Blake. Picking it up is Kachuk in front. Jamnov. He's knocked down, another Jet knocked down, and a penalty coming up against the Los Angeles Kings. When we return, Winnipeg on the power play. 
tak se snažím sehnat ten nový operační systém Chicago. Pořád odaluji jeho uvedení na trh. Ten nový OS2 VAR pod IBM se zdá být vynikající. OS2 VAR? Zrovna jsem o něm četla v časopise. Máte tam opravdový multitasking? Snadný přístup do internetu. Hrozně ráda bych tu síť vyzkoušel. Oh, to je můj beeper. Hey, so I'm thinking, what would really cheer my buddy up? Oh, oh this is great. Ah, yes. Quarter pounder with cheese. Oh, 100% pure beef smothered with melted processed cheese. McDonald's quarter pounder with cheese. It's so tempting. Oh. What you want is what you get. So get to McDonald's today. Mr. Williams, lunch. Oh, we forgot our gelatin. L.A. could have had a couple of penalties. Good pressure by the Jets in the first pressure in quite a while. Alexei Zhamnov is hooked down by Reichel, and then Ty Domi gets flattened into the net. And Reichel goes off for hooking. Shots 13-9, favoring Los Angeles. They lead 2-1 as the Jets on the power play looking for the equalizer, and they call offside. I'm not sure that buck was right out over the blue and line. Nelson Emerson has some words with Baron Parker, who is doing only his third NHL game. Puck comes across the blue line and has to go all the way out over the blue line. Nelson Emerson, quick hands. It's right on the line. Baron Parker's behind him. Baron Parker guessed out and makes the call. Dave Manson. The lone defenseman on this power play unit. Jamnov, Kuchuk, and Solani up front, and Emerson also on the point, and he'll take over. Up to Kuchuk. Penalty killers are Conacher and Todd. Emerson puts it in behind the goal. Blake reaching for it. Solani looking for it there. They go to the boards. Todd up with it. Ahead to Conacher. The veteran, Pat Conacher, takes the shot wide on the short side. Michelle Petit dumps it into the corner, and the Jets regain possession with a minute three to go. In the penalty, it's an errant pass, and the Kings send the Jets back again. Exactly three minutes left, first period, at the Great Western Forum. Two to one, Los Angeles. Solani can't get by his countryman, Yari Curry. Shannon takes it over two lines and offside the call, and it's a sputtering power play for the Jets right now. Jets looking for some more production from other people other than their big line, and Darren Shannon gets a chance on the power play in the B group to try and put up some offensive numbers. He's still looking for his first goal of the year. And you don't expect him to score a, a whole lot, but you want that 20 to 30 range in a full season, and I guess that would be, what, 10 to 20 here in this abbreviated 48-game schedule. 21 last year for Shannon. Looking for his first point of this campaign. Out with Steen and Drake now. Kintel and Wilkinson on the points. Drake in after it against Huddy. Kintel at the point took a hit. It comes back to Wilkinson. He tees it up and a shot right on Jamie Storr. And he holds on. Jets tee it up and shoot it from the blue line all night long on Jamie Storr if he can see the puck. And Neil Wilkinson was waiting and waiting for a scream, but he never got it. So he lets the long shot go. Jamie Storr is there, takes it off the shoulder, makes the save. As long as he can see it from the blue line, he's not going to let it in. Talking to him this morning, he can't believe that he is right now the guy in Los Angeles with the injury situation. He felt that Kelly Rudy had been given the opportunity to perhaps even play all 48 games for the Kings in this short season, but first Rudy goes down, then Stauber, and suddenly it's the rookie carrying the hopes of the Los Angeles Kings. Some ice problems. And we have a little break as the Jets get a chance to regroup again on their power play. Their power play looked very good last night. Lots of scoring opportunities. We've got a broken pane of glass. 
All the new buildings around the league, there's lots of talk that L.A. will be the next to plan and they're, where they're going to put it, what kind of building they're going to get. But the press box situation here compared to some of the buildings is pretty bad. The boards are bad. The glass is bad. The dressing rooms, although they've fixed them up, are still among the worst in the league. Second game in a week that uh, the Jets have been involved with a broken pane of glass. Had one break in Winnipeg on Monday night against Chicago. Let's join Scott Russell. Well, Chris, coming up in our first intermission from the Forum, the Kings, Rick Tockett joins me in studio. John Garrett affectionately calls him Muggsy. He's proven to be one of the most aggressive Kings in the early going, and he'll be here as well. We'll head to Toronto and update the news with Saturday Report. That's all coming your way in our first intermission from the Great Western Forum. Chris? Scott, I asked Rick if uh, he got a place close to the beach. He said, no, actually, uh, Bel Air. Would that make him the fresh king of Bel Air? Oh, oh. They're going to add this two minutes to the second period, and the, both teams are headed to the dressing room, and we'll have a 22-minute second period. And the Zamboni will come out, and we will get involved in our intermission, a period that the Jets started out well, but got into a little penalty trouble, and the Kings just kept coming and coming. And the Kings, this is two desperate teams, the Kings playing with that kind of desperation at home. Samo Solani opened the scoring, but Sidor on a power play, and then Lacroix for the Los Angeles Kings. And almost after the first period, it's Los Angeles 2, Winnipeg 1. Of Rob Blake, here's another look at the goal from the faceoff. Puck will come back to the blue line. Rob Blake will take the shot for the L.A. Kings and a nice move by Eric Lacroix as he tips it past Tim Chevalier. 2-1 for the Kings over the Jets. We're back with the second period in just a moment. Has to play well for them to be successful. After that, they went to sleep, and John Paddock had the other guys on there because the big line wasn't playing well. Timo Solani with the goal for Winnipeg. He now has 11 goals in 11 games lifetime against the Los Angeles Kings as the teams get set to resume play. There's our perspective from the broadcast booth here at the Great Western Forum as you look at Jamie Storr, who has made nine saves so far in this first period with 2.24 left. And quality chances were one-sided for the LA Kings. Ice time, Tamu Solani only 4.45. That's low for him. Gretzky almost six minutes. Rob Blake just a little over five, and we got two and a half minutes left here in the first period. Solani's line had one good shift that whole first period. Well, 18 minutes of the first period. They're out there to start this power play with 21 seconds left deep in the King zone. And again, the resumption of play starts with the faceoff in the King zone where the puck was frozen when the glass was broken. And we're back underway with the first period. 2.10 to go and in the dying seconds of a jet power play as it's fired in by Tempo Newman and Solani looking for the loose puck. Gretzky intercepted the pass and Gretzky will start back. Kings back at full strength. Gretzky with Sador. Gretzky fires and Chevelday with the save. Reichel down in the corner and Kachuk falling on the puck as well. They hold it for a faceoff. Gretzky battling the flu. Good scoring chance, shaking his head. Good save by Tim Chevelday. And Chevelday has been very good. Really looks sharp as the Kings have been getting the chances. Gretzky uses his legs. Jamnov falls down with Solani. Jamnov trying to catch Gretzky, and he can't. Gretzky, three on one, decides to shoot, and a great save by Tim Chevelday. Celebrated his 34th birthday on Thursday, 99 at center. He has a point in each of the four games the Kings have played so far, but Los Angeles looking for its first win of the season, 0-3-1. Oh, and, and the Jets 1-3-1. Shannon from the corner. Trying to spin away from a check, leaves it for Thomas Steen. McSorley's watching him. Steen in the slot, a shot, and a nice pad save by Jamie Storr. McSorley at center ice, dumping it in, and Warren Reichel going after it. Shevel Day out of the goal. Hit pocket with his clearing attempt. There's Reichel. Manson up ahead for Shannon, and Nelson Emerson at center. Emerson to the line with the spin around on the backhand wide. Under a 
minute to go now in the first period. Long sliding it in. Shovel day to Wilkinson in behind his own goal. Long is four checking, comes back to Wilkinson. He's knocked down by Brown. And number eight, the rookie, not afraid to throw his weight around. Here's Long and Buck Donnelly. Couldn't get a shot away. Brown again with a hit on Dallas Drake. One of the things they say about Robert Long is he doesn't shoot enough. There he had a good chance to shoot, decided to pass, and the play ended up being nothing. Donnelly in front, Sador couldn't get his stick on it. Long let it go past him. And down the ice, 20 seconds left. Petit quickly ahead to Sador. And Donnelly, his cross ice pass for Cruz broken up, and Romanek firing it down in the Los Angeles zone. Petit to Sador. Up to Donnelly. Too far for Todd. Cleared in by Drake, and that will do it. The first period has come to a close. 14 11 shots on goal, and the Kings up. Two to one. He is one of the most elite tomorrow morning. We'll watch the game and they're talking. Lots of wagering going down with the big spread. 19 point favorite San Francisco 49ers. Three touchdowns. Hard to give anybody three touchdowns. Here's Cruz turning. And the pass intercepted by Steen. Trying to send away Kachuk sliding all the way down on store. Up to Cruz. He's checked by Steen. Kachuk almost had a chance, but it's Blake to Drews. Former Peterborough Peaks in the game tonight. Drews is one of them. John Garrett another. Yes. Matt Johnson. Jitnik. Right side for Drews. Steen on him immediately. Todd couldn't break loose. Ulanov rolls it to center and Solani is there. Timo Solani waiting for some help. Marty McSorley on him. Now Steen picks up the puck. Thomas Steen coming from the side. Slid it in front. Darren Shannon puts it behind the goal. Huddy knocked down Solani, and that will draw another penalty against Los Angeles. An interference penalty on Charlie Huddy. Timu Solani cut through the crease to go and get that pass in behind the net. Charlie Huddy, nowhere near the puck, knocks him down. Huddy takes Solani and takes the interference penalty. Charlie Huddy was scratched from their last game in St. Louis. Not very appreciative of that fact. One for 17. Had some jump on their two power plays in the first period. Especially at the end, that last 21 seconds was the best they've shown with the man advantage. And again, Jamnov is out. Dallas Drake, Darren Shannon. Emerson and Manson at the points. Emerson can't keep it in. You mentioned Huddy was out. To coach's decision in two straight games. Not happy about it. And Tony Granato, in case you're wondering, is in the same boat tonight. As Barry Melrose sending a message to many of his veteran players in the early going. Store out of the goal, and he's able to clear it again. Shovel day. Back up to center for Manson. Dave Manson flipping it high in the air. Darren Shannon digging after it against Petit. Shannon got there first and got by the hit from Petit. Shannon beats the point. There's Emerson. And it goes to Jamna. Emerson to Manson. Manson wrist shot, change direction. Ends up in the corner for Jamna. Jamna takes the shot low to Drake. Conacher and Curry, the penalty killers. Nice diagonal pass there, and it's deflected wide off the stick of Drake. Shannon with the chance, and a glove pass is called by Terry Gregson. Jets moving the puck around well on this power play with some scoring chances. Darren Shannon deflected one that just went wide. Chance in close for Jamna. Marty McSorley and Conacher team up to get Alexei Jamnov, slow him down. Dave Manson takes their little wrist shot. Darren Shannon tips it. And fortunately for Jamie Story, the LA Kings, that one just slid wide. Jamnov had a good chance to shoot, and he struggled this season. Instead, makes the wrong decision. Pass. Solani and Kachuk not on the A group of this power play. 
now out there with 53 seconds left. Rob Blake is heading to the Kings dressing room. That's why there's a break here. Looks like likely for equipment repair. Although you wonder the way he was walking, whether that is equipment repair, hanging the one shoulder, limping a little bit. 53 seconds left in this jet power play. And Solani has it from the face off, backhanding it in. Sador in the corner for Los Angeles. Doesn't get a chance to clear it. Now it is down the ice. Curry staying out as a penalty killer with Lacroix. Normally you'd see more Gretzky in this role, but we presume because of the flu, not seeing as much action in the penalty killing unit. And Rick Tockett was saying Gretzky and Curry have been spending too much time killing penalties. The Kings have had a rash of penalties in the first five games of this season. Solani to the line. Now it comes back to Newman. Puck cleared behind the goal. Solani standing at the side of the net in front. And that went off the stick of Sidor wide. Thomas Steen into Kachuk, moves to the front of the net. Lost control, comes to the point, kept in by Newman. And penalties over, and Store hangs on long enough for a faceoff as Charlie Huddy returns to the ice. And the Jets are now 0 for 3 with the man advantage. People that we were running with before they promised everything but then their phone systems didn't work very well when you pick up the phone you expect to be able to get the other person on the other line every day more and more businesses are switching back to Bell Bell has made promises and come through with everything that they've promised so give us a call and we'll prove that we can give your business a real advantage Bell advantage we've been there and back and and uh, we're, we're glad that we're back Look back into her life to defy her past. Sonia Smith and Tom Jackson. Valerie! You can come and go from my life, but you can't in hers. In Margaret Lawrence's The Diviners, Sunday night at 8. Chris Cuthbert, John Garrett, Scott Russell, and the Hockey Night in Canada crew back at the Great Western Forum in Los Angeles, where the Kings, looking for their first victory of this young season, have a 2-1 lead against the Winnipeg Jets. Wayne Gretzky and Dallas Drake on the draw. Gretzky wins control for Los Angeles. McSorley out to center. Newman and to Drake. And it's sent in by Winnipeg. Jitnick behind his net. Drake is for checking. Gretzky. Lost it to Drake. And here comes Winnipeg. Emerson. And Drake couldn't get a shot away. Boy, Gretz doesn't look himself out there right now. Got back defensively on that one after the giveaway and was able to intercept the pass and make sure the shot wasn't taken. Doubtful starter tonight, but he is out. Trying to help the Kings get their first win of the year. Reichel takes his man to the glass. Ulanov stayed with the puck. And it comes outside the line. We're now told that Rob Blake as a slight groin injury, not likely to return tonight. Buck cleared to an open wing, and Tockett gives Jay Chevalier out of the net. Knocked it past Tockett, and the Jets come out. Ty Domi, Mike Eagles breaking with them. Chris King on the rush, and Domi with the wrist shot. And Jamie Storr hangs on. Jamie Storr looking very calm and cool. Kelly Rudy was talking about that, describing the young goaltender. Junior champions, lots of experience, and like when you're drafted young, that experience is very good. Our compatriot John Davidson, fifth, 1973. I never knew that JD was that old. Jocelyn Thibault, another youngster, hopefully for the Quebec Nordiques. He and Stefan Fissette can carry the load this year. And you look at the talent in that list, and how well they either done or are doing in the NHL. Tom Barrasso's out for an extended period with a wrist injury, and Ken Regan has filled in admirably. 
Saw Trevor Kidd earlier tonight. People comparing Jamie Storr to Kirk McLean. Get your view on that a little later. Right now, the Jets trying to test the rookie goaltender, the Kings. Four and a half minutes gone. Second period, 2-1 Los Angeles. Long pulled down at center ice and a penalty coming up against Winnipeg. And the LA Kings will go back to the power play. A hooking penalty on Jamnov on Robert Long. Long made that one look a little more dramatic than it was, but Jamnov stopped skating, got the stick on Long. Jamnov, the legs aren't going. And when the legs aren't going, the referee's going to make that call. If you skate with the guy, the referee will give you the benefit of the doubt, but Jamnov just quit skating, got the stick out, takes the hooking penalty. Kings have a power play goal tonight. Sador in the first period as they look to expand their lead. Long stays out. Kevin Brown, Mike Donnelly, Sador, and Michelle Petit from the faceoff. Newman hit by Brown. Tell you what, Kevin Brown's making an impact in his first NHL game. Sador to set it up. Good young defenseman. Pounds it in. Long going after it. Hit the back of the net to Newmanen. Gets it by Sador out to center. Solani and Kachuk the penalty killer. So the Kings have to be wary. Here comes Kintel. Stefan Kintel with the high shot. Solani on the near side. He's bumped by Donnelly and Solani chopped at Donnelly. Long. 45 seconds gone and the penalty to Jamna. Long can't get loose. Sador will fire it in. Shannon couldn't handle it off his skate. And play whistle down. Too, too many men on the ice, I think, for the LA Kings. There was some confusion at the bench. Terry Gregson is over talking things over with the penalty timekeeper. Benches are on the opposite side as they used to be here at the LA Forum. The Jets took three too many, three bench penalties in San Jose, the game they lost four nothing. The LA Kings have too many men on the ice in this situation and there goes their power play. LA Kings have three in the frame. As we go across, there's another one that's four. There's another one that's five. And there's six. Wayne Gretzky looks over, and at the bench there was confusion. When the puck went over there, it's easy for the linesman to notice. And that's what happened. The LA Kings get caught. Minute three to go in Jamnoff's penalty, so the Jets will have a power play for almost a minute. Right now, four on four. Emerson and Drake up front for Winnipeg. Gretzky and Tockett for the Kings. McSorley can't get it out. Looked in the air by Emerson and play called on a high stick. When you bring up players from the minors, as Kevin Brown just came up from Phoenix, he was the one that started to go off and then stayed on the ice, and you get used to a coach's line changes. They make them quickly or they don't make them quickly. Kevin Brown went over to the bench. His player wasn't ready, so he went back, and the Kings got caught with too many men on the ice. And that's one of the chances you take when you bring guys up and you don't have a chance to practice. Throw them in right away, and you're going to have mistakes like that. Thomas Steen is out for the Jets. Gretzky and Tockett remain up front for Los Angeles. Day playing it off to Kintel. Tockett got a piece of Kintel. Gretzky with the steal. Puts it in front. Tockett banged at it, but it drifted high, and Gretzky now picks it up again. Gives it off to Jitnik. Rolling puck from the shot right on. Newman pushes it ahead, but can't get it by Gretzky. Looking sharp on this shift. Tockett! And a nice save there by Shevel Day. Gretzky and Tockett all over the Jets on this four on four. A couple of those passes that Tockett was talking about. Gretzky threw people and clean cut passes. Here's 99 again rolling it through. Jitnik might be caught. Jamnov's out. And the Jets back at full strength. Now on the power play. Here's Jamnov shooting. And McSorley blocked that. 
Kintel puts it behind the net. Thomas Steen is there. Steen takes a look with 35 seconds left on what is now a jet power play. In low to Jamnov. Back to Steen. Jamnov in the corner. Drake in front. Kintel the one-timer wide at the far side. A chance for Thomas or Jamnov, and he missed the open side. Block shot. Manson had it blocked on a nice play by Eric Lacroix, who has a goal and a nice play there in a penalty-killing situation. Jitnik quickly becoming a fan favorite. Eric Lacroix gets a good round of applause as he heads to the bench after that block shot. Be a coach's favorite with a play like that as the penalty comes to a close and the Kings back at full strength. Solani. Sliding it through. Now stealing the clearing attempt. Timo Solani behind the net. And he's draped along the boards by Long. Up with a jam knob. Circling, shooting. Store the save of the rebound. And Jamie Store covers up, preserving a 2 1 Los Angeles lead. The all new Mercury Mystique drives like no other car in this class with four-wheel independent suspension. A 16-valve ZTEC engine that delivers the best highway fuel economy in its class, as well as 14 other features not found on any other car in its class. As for the rest, class dismissed. Drive the all-new Mercury Mystique. First season in retirement as the assistant general manager of the Kings. Uh, how are you enjoying it? Oh, it's... It's been going pretty good. I think, uh, you know, I'm getting a lot of help from Sam McMaster, from Rogi Vashon, the guys that are all already in the office with all the experience. Just nice to be involved with the team. So. Dave, you're ahead, uh, maybe headed for your first win. Who knows? What kind of team are you trying to build? Well, I think we have a solid team. Uh, uh, we haven't had much luck through the early going, but uh, as you mentioned, looking for the first win tonight. But we have a team... If you look at last year's club, we're bigger, we're tougher. Addition of a guy like Tockett, I think, gives us a lot. Lacroix, the young guys, uh, also Kevin Brown, gives us just, just a little more muscle in our lineup as well. Dave, nice to see you back at the Great Western Forum. Good luck this season. Thanks a lot. All right, Chris, back to you. A little extra muscle on the ice for both teams right now, and a spirited shift by Chris King and Ty Domi, and that has raised the ire of Warren Reichel. And Brent Thompson and Warren Reichel. And we had one of those situations where one linesman waded in. Ty Domi talking things over with Charlie Huddy, and that, nothing's going to happen between those two. Give each other a tap. They hit Michelle Patia on Domi. Brent Thompson come in. Reichel's got his gloves off already. Thompson tries to go in, and there's Shane Heyer by himself getting into the fray, and that is a dangerous, dangerous ploy by the linesman. And the players don't appreciate that either because you can get sucker punched pretty quickly when one linesman turns around and grabs a hold of one player. Two minute cheats for roughing after that little fray as the gloves were dropped and no instigator penalty. I think that whole shift it could have been instigators on both sides is a little more emotion getting into this game and a few big hits. Kick and Domi really set the tone and trying to change the momentum for John Paddock's team. Here go Barry Melrose. Oh, here comes Rob Blake. We we're told that uh, probably wouldn't be back, but apparently maybe the heavy going. Rob Blake ready to return. Key man in the Los Angeles Kings scheme of things. Here's McSorley. And Kachuk went down. Here's a chance for Tockett to Gretzky, and he fired it wide. Kachuk shaken up, and the Kings are buzzing. Keith Kachuk slowly now making his way to the Winnipeg bench. Solani at center. Has to wait for Jamnov to get back on side. And now Solani has gone off. Four on four, and this is the second time we've seen that situation in this period. And the Kings really have had an edge 
on four on four offside the call at the Winnipeg line. Rob Blake coming back. Well, he got taped up while he was in the dressing room. Keith Kachuk went head first into the board. He's being looked at by the Jets trainer. McSorley and Kachuk. McSorley gets the leg out. Kachuk goes down head and shoulder first into the boards. Got up slowly. Rick Tockett set up Wayne Gretzky, and Wayne Gretzky just pulled it wide. Tockett on the forehand pass to Gretzky, and Gretzky misses the corner. Tim Shevelday out of position. Gretzky almost by the net when he let that shot go. Shots are even at 17 apiece. Jitnik scrambling back in his own zone ahead of Jamnov. And now the smooth skating Yari Curry in his 995th career NHL game sliding it in. Kings looking for a penalty, but Terry Gregson letting them play on and hearing from the fans at the Great Western Forum. Rob Blake winding up, fires, and now Gregson is signaling a penalty. Donnelly was taken down in front of the net, and the call is made. Neil Wilkinson gets the tripping penalty. The fans wanted a penalty earlier. Difference in size, Wilkinson and Donnelly, and Wilkinson takes the tripping penalty on Donnelly. Winnipeg penalty to number two, Neil Wilkinson. Two minutes for Fans tripping. help call that one. The referee's Tyler always Tyler looking after the fans get involved, and he doesn't know whether he's missed one or not. Wilkinson gives Donnelly the little shot in the back of the knees, pushes the back of the knees, and takes a tripping penalty. It'll be four skaters against three for 38 seconds, and then five on four. As Gretzky comes out with Curry and Tockett, McSorley and Sador. And you can bet Rob Blake will be out there. He just finished a shift. He'll get a little rest, but you can bet Rob Blake will be out there as soon as he is rested. Trying to give the Kings too many men. Sador has gone off now. It's just four on three. Eagles is the lone man up for the Jets. Wins the draw, and Winnipeg clears it. Manson and Newman are the defensemen. Gretzky playing on the point. On this power play, Curry to the line, lost it, and Manson gets it back out to center. Manson intercepting a pass, stolen by Tockett, over to McSorley, and McSorley tripped up at the line, and Tockett has to wait for teammates to get onside. McSorley turning again, five seconds left in the coincidental minors. Reichel and Thompson getting set to return. They're back on the ice. Manson hit Gretzky with his first clearing attempt. Now gets it to the L.A. line. Talk it to Curry. Here's Curry with some room. Putting it in front. And the bouncing puck. Kept in by Tockett. Cleared around by Reichel. Gretzky couldn't get there in time. McSorley waiting for it. Back into the corner. And Dave Manson. Out to Eagles and down the ice. 50 seconds left in the penalty against Winnipeg. Rick Tockett, cross ice pass. Here's Mike Donnelly firing, and that deflects off Ulanov out of play. 8.48 to go, second period. Here's Scott. All right, Chris, a busy day in the National Hockey League. The Vancouver Canucks finally have their first win of the season, 3-1 over St. Louis. Pavel Bury got his second goal in that game, so the Canucks are off on the winning ways. Toronto 2-1 over the Calgary Flames. Dave Andrichuk scored his first goal for the Leafs in that one, and Matt Sundin got the winner. And one more game to report for you right now. 2-2 Buffalo and Ottawa. That was in overtime. Craig Simpson got the tying goal there. All the stories and the updates on our Chevy NHL update in our second intermission. Chris? Well, Scott, that means three teams now without a win in this early season. Los Angeles is one of them, along with New Jersey. That's a surprise. And the Ottawa Senators. Vancouver, a big win going home. They have five straight home games, starting with a game against Toronto on Wednesday. Jitnik pounds it in. 20 seconds left of the man advantage. Manson being counted by Long. Intel after it for Winnipeg. Gets a 
has done a nice job of penalty killing so far. Petit at the line. And behind the net it goes. Mike Donnelly back to Petit. Penalty's over. And right out of the box goes by Wilkinson and down the ice. Jitnik back to get it. He has his pocket pick. But Rob Blake is there. To Brown. Rink wide it goes. Mike Donnelly streaking down left wing. Held up by Thompson. And now cleared out to center ice. Charlie Huddy with seven minutes, 40 seconds to go, second period. Thompson out to Steen. Kachuk is back out for Winnipeg, so he's okay. Huddy clubs it down. There's a hit on Bruce. Bouncing puck, Chevalde behind his net, and a big collision. Just getting out of the way was Thompson. Eric Lacroix went flying in there. And he has played a hustling role for Los Angeles tonight. And has the go-ahead goal for the Kings, 2-1. Jets sending it down. McSorley touching it and icing the call against Winnipeg. Things heating up here at the Great Western Forum. Todd working the board, so is Lacroix. Puck comes free for John Bruce, the shot right on. Rebounded and hopped over Bruce's stick. Out for Solani with Kachuk. And Steen to the line and is broken up by Sador. Daryl Sador has a goal. He's had a strong night for Los Angeles. Good move there. Here he comes, Sador working in. Bruce in front, off Chevalde. Kevin Todd behind the net to Sador, weak shot. Chevalde the save, out in front again. Back to Sador. Weak shot doesn't get through and Mike Eagles takes over. Up to Solani. The finish flash hits the line. Timo Solani can't barge through. And Todd turns back for Los Angeles. Curry on right wing. Yari Curry drops it for Gretzky. Rick Tockett to the net. Good break down the high pass. Huddy shot off Eagles, and Kachuk starts back. 5.50 left, second period. Kachuk just handed it to Huddy. Gretzky to Curry. In on Manson. Yari Curry. Manson takes him out nicely. Gretzky in the corner. Comes back to Huddy, the shot. Tockett providing the screen in front, but it goes off Shovel Day. Huddy again. Gretzky behind the net, and the pass doesn't get to Huddy. Huddy again, and going up for the jump ball is Shovel Day, and he brings it down to relieve the pressure. And the last shift with Kachuk and Solani, nowhere was Alexei Jamna. Mike Eagles a little while at center, and a little message from John Paddock to Alexei Jamna. John Drews has a good shot, and again, Tim Shovelday in perfect position to make the save. He's up, the rebound goes by Drews, but again, Shovelday was in perfect position had Drews got the rebound. He was back up on his feet, and Shovelday has looked very good and very confident here as the Kings. Shots are just about even, but the Kings have definitely outchanced the Winnipeg Jets in this one. Shovelday's been one of Winnipeg's best tonight. Sorley from a bad angle, that's kicked out. Jim uh, now back out. Out there with Drake and Romanek. New combination for John Paddock and Ulanov. Sends it ahead to Drake. Ulanov took the return pass. Miss Romanek with a lead attempt. And now Kevin Brown. Pulled down Jamnov, centers it. Groshek on the far side, bumping with Donnelly. And the Jets clear it into their own bench. Some different line combinations for John Paddock trying to get his team to generate some offense. They haven't had many chances on Jamie's store here in the second period. Look out to center ice, Daryl Sador sends it in. Donnelly for checking against Romanek. Brown is bumping in there as well, and Jamnov takes over. Nice pass on left wing, and Romanek starting down ice for Winnipeg, but can't get by McSorley. Intel with the back hand, and it ends up on the stick of Romanek, but offside is the call. 
Russ Romanek is one of those players that the Winnipeg Jets thought was going to help them scoring goals. He's only played three games. This is his fourth, but he's only had three shots on net. And Romanek is one of those guys you watch him in practice. One of the best wrist shots on the team. Can really snap it up, and yet he lacks that confidence to let it go. He's going to have to shoot more, and there he's being talked to by John Paddock. Well, two teams that have had trouble scoring in the early going, and we've got a 2-1 game here late in the second period. Usually when Winnipeg and Los Angeles get together, it's a nightmare for the goaltenders. Joking with Chris King about the fact it might be an 8-6 game tonight, but doesn't look like it's going to happen. Petit clears it in, and Shannon flips it back out to center. Stefan Kintel up to Shannon. Across ice it goes. Here's Emerson. Winding up, scores! Well, that one bounced through Jamie Storr, and the Jets are back on even terms. Alexi Zidnik was looking back to pick up the rebound. Shoot the puck, shoot the puck. And that's the guys who are struggling. They have to learn. Nelson Emerson, you never know. It just might go in. Jamie Storr looks like that one hit him in the knees as he was on the way down. And you were comparing him to Kirk McLean. And one of the things Jamie Storr, he does fall down more than Kirk McLean and opens up. Emerson takes the shot. Store is on the way down. It goes off both Winner knees and in the net. Point. Scored by number 19, Nelson Emerson. The assist to number 34, Darren Shannon. And number four, Stefan Kizov. Time of the goal. Darren Shannon gets his first point of the year. It's the second goal for Nelson Emerson. 16-19, time of the tying goal. Winnipeg and Los Angeles to twos, and Salani will test Storr, and he flashes the glove hand. So that might get some confidence back after the bouncing shot from Emerson. Shot didn't bounce till it was going through him. It's not that long shot. Alexi Zitnik did the right thing, got wide. Solani lets it go. It's high. It's going wide. But you want to get back into the game after a goal like that. Jamie Storr makes the save. Shot from Emerson. Well out. Fakes it once. And it goes right through him. Changed the angle by faking the shot. Storr on the way down. Had to go right through his legs. Steen wins the draw. Back to Newman, and shot is blocked. Newman with his own rebound, sweeps behind the net. That was another blocked shot by Lacroix. Solani, his pass cut off by Drews, who'll start back. 3.03 to go, second period. John Drews moving in, scores! What a play by John Drews! Igor Ulanov, who is known as a hitter, gets beaten at the blue line cleanly by John Drews. Ulanov watches the puck. He's usually a very good hitter. He's one of the harder hitters on the Jets team. And Drews just goes top corner on Tim Chevelday. A perfect shot by John Drews. Chevelday's out well. There's a little bit of room and not much room. And he, John Drews just wires it by Tim Chevelday. So Drews answering back 41 seconds after the goal by Emerson. It's the first of the year for Drews. At the 17 minute mark of the second period and the Kings back in front three to two. That's the way it's been going for the Jets. They get back in it, look like they've got some life and they make a mental mistake. Ulanov, the pinch with no chance, not taking the body. Drews right by him, perfect shot in and away they go. They're starting to open up. Groshek with the drop pass for Jamnov, broken up. Well, 8-6 is a long way away, but they <laughs> have scored a couple in a hurry. Warren Reichel fires it in. Gretzky waiting for it. So is Newmanen. Tockett is there. Puck kick free, and Jamnov starts back. Donnelly picked him up. Gretzky heading to the bench, and Manson over to Newmanen. Long lead pass, but Drake was offside. 
John Drews, if he's got time, is an excellent goal scorer. It's when he's under pressure that he has problems. But Drews goes right around Ulanov, looks down at the puck, and Drews is right around him like he wasn't there lots of time, and a perfect shot to beat Tim Sheveldey. Ulanov looks down, watches the puck. Drews is right around him, and Ulanov knows he's out of the play. He's looking for, to pick somebody up late. By the time that happens, it's out at the red line. Shades of the 1990 playoffs when he had 14 goals in 15 games and was one of the real stories of that playoff year for Washington. The Ranger killer. Long taken to the boards by Drake. Shovel Day rolls it into the corner. Brown is bumped there. Intel against Long. Donnelly out to Kevin Brown. Turning, tries to get the shot away. Dallas Drake is there and beats it ahead. Here come Emerson and Shannon. Darren Shannon digging in deep. In behind the net, McSorley watching him. Takes him out. Drake hoping for a loose puck, has it to Emerson, the shot. And that goes wide of the mark. And the puck cleared over the glass with just under a minute to go in this second period. Look at this L.A. defense without Rob Blake as Blake has gone to the dressing room again and Marty McSorley will get an awful lot of ice time. Part of the Kings problem last year was the absence of McSorley. He came halfway through the season and just couldn't fit in as well. This year, right from the start, has to be a force. Darren Shannon, good play, good forecheck. McSorley's forced to dump it over the glass, and the Jets have a faceoff deep in the Kings' zone. Shitnick was another guy that Barry Melrose was thinking of sitting tonight. Good thing he didn't with Blake getting hurt. on this face-off for Winnipeg. Up against Kevin Todd, and Eagles is waved, and so is Todd. So it's Yari Curry and Ty Domi. The last time Domi and King were out, they really made an impact crashing the boards. Let's see what they do here. Puck comes free. Domi in front. Eagles took a whack at it. King along the boards. Watched by Curry. Charlie Huddy after it. And sends it ahead to Eric Lacroix. Shoveled A. Newman and fell down behind the goal. And the Kings come up with it. Here's Curry with a half minute to go. Looking for Todd, broken up by Manson. Now Todd across ice again, bouncing puck. Lacroix took a whack at it, and it's over the glass, out of play. Eric Lacroix came in the deal for Dixon Ward. Ward going to Toronto. Ward's had a couple of scraps in the last two games, and Lacroix has been very aggressive here for the LA Kings. He's blocked a couple of shots. He's got a goal. He's really been involved tonight. The fans obviously obviously love him. Sadzai Domi have a word or two as he skated by the rookie on his way to the Winnipeg bench. And now Domi just kind of cruising by the Kings bench with a couple of words. As Lacroix has obviously uh, got under tie skin a bit. Jerry Gregson now gets involved. The linesman cruising around Ty Domi. 21 seconds left here in the period. They don't want anything to break out now. Looks Ty. like Ty was headed off. Uh, John Paddock wanted to make a change, and when he saw what the Kings were doing on the ice, sent Domi right back out there. A little face rubbing. You know how those gloves smell at this time of the game, late in the second period. Not a very pleasant experience for Eric Lacroix. Ty Domi is trying to negotiate a new contract with the Jets. Grape stirring it up today with uh, the prediction that he'll be moved. Domi not playing in the last two Jet games, or in two Jet games prior to this weekend, returning last night against Anaheim. Time running out here in the second period at the Great Western Forum. 
Jets got back on even terms, but then the late goal by John Drew score at the end of 40 minutes, 3-2 Los Angeles. And that made it 3-2 for the Kings over the Jets. Third period action is next. You're watching Molson Hockey Night in Canada on CBC. If men weren't meant to fly... ...spit for a win, but I would think this is a very important game for you. Would you agree with that? Yes, it is. Um, you know, we came out kind of flat right now. Uh, we need this two points as much as LA needs it. Uh, we have only have one, one win this season, so... We're struggling right now. We just have to get it in on L.A. Uh, I think they lost Rob Blake uh, for the game, but uh, we got to come back, and uh, we, have to, we have to get this two points. It's, 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 it's too important for us right now. 23-18, the shots on goal favor Los Angeles as they take the one-goal lead into the third period. Kajek still looking for his first shot on Jamie Store tonight about the importance of this game. They go home for two, play St. Louis Thursday, San Jose next Saturday, and then they go out on another five-game road trip, another killer. And as we saw earlier, they have not played very well on the road. Kings have an unusual schedule. They're at home tomorrow night against the Chicago Blackhawks, and then off until next weekend. Daryl Sutter, Paul Baxter, and the Chicago crew in to get a little advanced scouting tonight. McSorley clearing it in. First minute, third period. As it slides to Shevel Day and Newmanen. Outlets on left wing. In the middle it goes to Dallas Drake. He couldn't get loose and the Kings start back. Here's Kevin Brown leaving it and Jitnik was checked by Newmanen who just flips it out to center. Lead pass by Petit to Donnelly at the Winnipeg line. Brown reached for it. But up with it is Wilkinson. He's dumped on the play, and Donnelly starts back for Los Angeles. Clears it into the corner. And Donnelly heads to the bench on a change. Todd out there now. He lost control, and Shannon gets it across to Jamnov. Jamnov leads the Jet. Shooters with four shots on goal. That didn't get through. And back out to center ice. and match lines here for John Paddock. Chris, you're going to have to be alert as some changes made already. Jamnov out with Shannon and Groshek. Todd feeds the point. The shot off the stick of Petit doesn't get through and Shannon starts back. Here's Jamnov. Jamnov turning and spinning, putting it in front and Todd had come back defensively for Los Angeles. Todd, a good job. Michelle Petit caught up ice. Todd realized it, got back and made the good defensive play. Sador, Lacroix and Bruce, the goal scorers for Los Angeles. Solani and Emerson for Winnipeg. We're two minutes into the third period. Gretzky on the left side to Rick Tockett. Tockett sends it in. Chevalier out of the net. Puck hit Curry. Gretzky feeds it back to the point, but Huddy had moved up. Now clears it and rifled that one into the crowd. And plays called. Wayne Gretzky battling the flu. Doubtful starter showed up, and whenever he shows up, you know he's going to play. Not nearly as much as normal, only 14 minutes after two periods. Chris, you talked about the penalty killing. That's the big thing for Gretz. Hasn't been out there killing penalties tonight. Rob Blake injured in the second period, came back for one shift, and has not returned here for the third period. Dave Manson on Eric Lacroix in front of the net. Neil Wilkinson and Manson give Lacroix the rough treatment, take his helmet off. He looks at the referee, but he's not going to get a penalty for that little push. I think number 28 has the attention of the Jets tonight. Derek Lacroix with a strong night. Out right now with Todd and Bruce. And Bruce scored the go-ahead goal with three minutes left in the second period. Kachuk with Skeen and Salani for Winnipeg as Steen's moved up to the top line. Head back to Kintel. Backhand pass got to Kachuk. Fed to Solani. He just let it go. Pitching in is Newman. And he beat Lacroix to the puck. And Los Angeles now has it. And it's Jitnik. Hitting the line. Nice burst of speed. And he backhanded the puck wide. What? 
Martell off the boards. Up ahead to Solani. He bumped into the linesman, and Petit has it. Jets make a change, and Curry moving in on the wrong wing, and a nice glove save by Chevalier. 3-14 into the third period. Curry and the Kings with the lead. More than a coincidence, it's a success. The 1995 Altima from Nissan. Now available for $289 a month. Dave Mussolini, a little rest back on the ice. He had a glance back at a rookie linesman, Baron Parker, doing only his third game, gets caught out of position. Puck comes around, Solani bumps into him, looks back, and that's something a little more experienced. Things happen so much faster in the NHL than any other league. You have to get used to where the players are going to be and anticipate. Kings won the draw, but Puck went past Petit down into the Los Angeles zone. Michel Petit took a slash and then crashed into the boards. And Petit slow to get up. Todd back hands it out to center ice. John Paddock has gone back to Zemnov in between Solani and Kachuk on the shift. Here's Bruce, fires again off the glove of Chevalier. Four-man scrub, Bruce comes up with it right in front, scores! John Bruce! that first shot the high one but then the Jets let Bruce walk right out from the corner and beat Tim Chevalier fishing for the puck Keppo Newman and gives Bruce the wave and Bruce goes right around him and slides it by Tim Chevalier soft along the boards and then soft in front the Jets get burned he's been the difference John Bruce with two in a row has put the Kings in front four two Second goal and second point Just the game. third start in five games for Bruce, but he'll learn more playing time with this performance. And a 4-2 Kings lead. Gretzky coming back, looking for more to Curry, and it's called on the offside. John Bruce, one of those confidence-type players, and we saw that shot high at the end of the second period this time. Drives to the net, goes right around Teppo Newman and forces it by Kim Chevelday. Chevelday played that one pretty well. He got a stick out, but Drews just forced it by. Kentel and Jamnov get out muscled along the boards, and Drews just drives to the net to beat Chevelday. Todd helped dig the puck loose. He gets an assist, his second of the game. He was on the all rookie team three years ago. And the Kings think he can supply some offense for them as the second or third line center. Here's Groshek stealing. Steed the shot. Kicked out by Storr. It's kept in by Wilkinson. In deep to Shannon. Darren Shannon, side of the net, trying to sweep in front. And it's cleared ahead to Gretzky. The Kings captain to the line, working against Wilkinson. And Manson came across to take possession. Loses it, and Gretzky has it again. 99 against Manson, centers in front. Curry to Jitnik, walking in, and Chevalier down to make the save. Mike Eagles back for Winnipeg. Eagles clearing it into the corner. Five minutes, 10 seconds gone, third period, 4-2. Kings with the lead. And a penalty coming up against the Winnipeg Jets. Mike Eagles, a late hit, and Eagles is going. Winnipeg defensively scrambling around. Tired team here in the third period. A tired, desperate team. Three games in four nights. Everybody looking for the puck. Gretzky to Curry. And Jitnik walks right in, tries to go around Chevalier, and Tim just stayed right with them and made the save. Wayne Gretzky on Dave Manson. Down, looking, looking, knows where he wants it to go. Slides it out to Curry. Curry to Jitnik, and Jitnik with the good scoring chance on Chevelday. Look at all the room Jitnik's got. Tries to go wide. Chevelday stays with him to make the save. And so with the Eagles off, Kings go back on the power play. They've now outshot. The Jets 28 to 19. 
5-1 so far in the third period. Kings with a power play goal tonight. Came into this game with four even straight goals in four games, but they have three with an even manpower situation tonight. But see, past Donnelly. Now back to Petit at the point. Solani couldn't get it out. Long to Donnelly, it went by him. Daryl Sador shot, Chevalier down, made the stop. Robert Long. Let's see, back to Long with some room. Robert Long dancing in, couldn't get a shot away. There's Sador drive, Donnelly loose puck, and they just knock it wide of the open net. Close call there, and Winnipeg relieves the pressure. And again, it was Kevin Brown battling in front of the net, but Donnelly had just slipped it wide. Donnelly to McSorley, one minute left to the man advantage. Chopped by Newman. And Petit has to go back to get it with Emerson right behind him. Emerson steals it. Storr knocks it back to Petit. And play whistled down, and we've got a penalty coming up against the Kings. Michelle Petit for tripping. Good job by Nelson Emerson on the steal. Drove to the net, and Petit had no choice. He was the one that gave the puck up. Trips Emerson or takes the penalty. Penalty coming with 47 seconds remaining in the Eagles minor. Robert Long does a good job, goes to the front of the net, loses it off. Tim Shevelday makes the save. Brown and Donnelly are battling in front. Rebound comes up. Donnelly has a crack at it. He's in the crease. Brown comes by, swings at it on the backhand, bangs it off the side of the net. So with Petit off, Four on four for 47 seconds. Nelson Emerson has probably been the best of the Jets tonight, and he has not been for most of the season. He has struggled early, but he's played with some jump. He's drawn some penalties, created a few things for the Jets here tonight. Thomas Steen on this faceoff, but the Kings control. Steen and Drake up front. And for Los Angeles, Kevin Todd and Pat Conacher. Charlie Huddy, Alexi Jitnik. Jitnik's parents are here watching him from Kiev, Ukraine. And here he comes. Winding up and stopped at the line by Newman. Stopped at the line by Baron Parker. The linesman couldn't get out of the way again. Taka will try. He rolls it in, and now it's a Winnipeg Jet power play. As the Eagles penalty has concluded, and Newman leads the Jet attack. Well, the Jets got away with one there. Drake thought he was offside, but there was no call, and the Kings cleared it anyway. Shane Heyer was looking at the player in close, and the player in close was onside, but... Drake was so far offside, Hire didn't see him. Here's Jamnon. He drops it back. There's Emerson to Solani. Down low, and the shot by Kachuk goes high and into the crowd. Today in history, a streak that was broken by former Winnipeg Jet goaltender playing for the LA Kings, Marcus Matson, And what a streak it was for Wayne Gretzky. Marcus Matson always reminded me of Tony Esposito. Played like Tony Esposito and on that night stopped Wayne Gretzky's 51 game scoring streak. How about that, 153 points in 51 games. We're into a 48 game season. Do you think anybody will come close to 140, 150 points? <laughs> Not likely. <laughs> Not likely. That'd be a good performance for a line. I looked at that record, the number of games, and I was guessing points. Where is and it? I was guessing like 85. Chance there for Jamnov. Looked like it caromed off the crossbar. Puts it in front again, Jamnov. Huddy sprawling. It's loose side of the net, store down, covers up. Well, 
Solani came close, jammed on before him, and now Todd and Solani exchange shoves. Jamie Storrs made a couple of good saves on this power play in the right position to make the saves. The bang-bang plays, you have to be in position. Jamie Storr stays on his feet, does a good job to get into position. Comes across in position. Hit by the puck, covers up the rebound. Jamie Storr looking for his first NHL win. The Kings vying for their first win of the season. And you know, Jamie's dad, who's a goaltender, runs goaltending schools at Brampton. James Storr watching anxiously at home. 11 minutes and 40 seconds left, third period. It's 4-2 L.A. Shamnov on the move with Kachuk, the shot, and Storr. Nice glove stop. He'll hang on to help preserve that two-goal lead. Ah, the joys of a minivan. That big sliding door. That heavy, removable... ...won their last two, head into the forum. Patrick Waugh again playing like Patrick Waugh. The spread in that one is not 19 points. Gets with some pressure. Eric Lacroix talking things over with Michel Petit. Are they talking English or French? Michel, when he first came up, I was a member of the Vancouver Canucks, and that's how old Michel is. Couldn't speak English at all. Now speaks very well. He's not that old, is he? Yes. Mark kept in at the line. Now Todd flips it out. Back to get it, Wilkinson. Checked by Bruce. John Bruce and Lacroix over the line. Well, this has been a good line for Barry Melrose tonight. Todd, Lacroix, and Bruce. They have three of the four goals. Brent Thompson flipping it in deep for Winnipeg. Groshek is after it against the door. Groshek tried to center it. Long clearing it ahead to Donnelly. Here comes Mike Donnelly. Looking for his first goal of the year. Too long. Back to Donnelly. Comes out in front. Kevin Brown cruising there. Here's Brown with the shot. Shovel Day. Got a shoulder on that. Jick Nick at the point. Pass Donnelly in behind the net. Brown centers it off a of skeet. And Emerson takes over. 10-10 to go, third period. 4-2 Los Angeles. Shannon up to Ty Domi. Domi wide of the net. Shannon after it, bumped into Donnelly. Thomas Steen is forechecking. Here's Domi lining up his man. Puck along the boards. Domi still battling for it. Up against Jitnik. Kept in at the line by Manson. Shannon after it. Huddy tried to push it ahead, and it does come outside the line. Dave Manson. Another new line for John Paddock, Ty Domi, Darren Shannon, and Thomas Steen. Barry Melrose tries to make changes to counterattack that. Shitnik wraps it ahead for Gretzky. Here's Wayne Gretzky at center ice. Talk it on his left wing. Now they crisscross at the line. Gretzky is checked on the play by Thompson. And here's Kachuk. Keith Kachuk in the middle to jam knob. Solani with the chance. Shot is blocked by Sador. Thompson at the line, kept it in. Marty McSorley off the boards and down the ice. Pulling off, touching it, and icing is the call. 8.51 left. Still, the Kings by two. Road handling. Top player in the shorter season. Darrell, quick word about the United Center. Looks great. Oh, it's fabulous. I, honestly, I'm not being biased at all, but it's the best place in the world. Darrell, good luck on the road. Thank you very much. Chris? Play whistle down, Scott, as Marty McSorley crashing into the Kings net. And 
He's looking for a license plate number. <laughs> talking about the United Center, the players talking about their dressing rooms and the Keel Center in St. Louis, the home team has a 13,000 square foot dressing room. And I talked to Paul Baxter of the Chicago Blackhawks. He's a, well, yeah, sure, 13,000. Ours is 17,000. Marty McSorley bangs into his goaltender up and over Jamie Storr into the net, knocks it off. Martin McSorley has played a strong, disciplined game tonight. He's been in control, played a lot, played pretty well. Well, the Kings worried about their scoring, but they do have a good defense on paper with Sador really playing well tonight, although there is concern for Rob Blake, who left the game in the second period with a groin injury. Robert Long has played well at Kevin Todd, and if they can take some pressure off Wayne Gretzky, and they've done that tonight. They have played a whole lot, especially here in the third period, the gretzky talking line. And it would be a big bonus for the LA Kings. Doing this without Tony Granato, who has been sat down by Coach Barry Melrose. Puck at the side of the net, and Jitnik there for Los Angeles. John Bruce, who has the last two goals in this game, and they're standing up so far for the Kings. And the line changing now as Melrose sends over fresh troops. Emerson tied up by Bruce. Jitnik standing up and clearing it back in for the Kings. Manson to Dallas Drake. 7.50 left, third period. Conacher watching Drake. Curry on the ice as well. Warren Reichel out there for the Kings on left wing. Groshek along the boards comes free. Manson shot blocked by Reichel. And the Kings have blocked a lot of shots this evening. And a tired Jet team, that's one thing you do, bury the head, take the shot immediately, and not getting those shots by the diving King players. Here's Teppo Newman at the line. Clears it in, Domi against Long. Shannon behind the net. Darren Shannon tries to wrap it in front. Here's a shot by Steen, stopped by Storm. Gary Curry tries to relieve the pressure. Kept in by Newman. Tied Domi behind the goal. Jets trying to mount the comeback. Ulanov has gone to the front of the net. Domi's there as well. Reichel off the boards and down the ice to relieve the Winnipeg pressure. And icing the call. Travel miles, the teams like Toronto and Detroit have complained about the number of travel miles and the days away that they're going to have in the abbreviated season. The Western teams are used to it. Talking to Jack Ferrer last night, he said last year they spent 78 days away from their homes and away from their own beds. And the teams in the East, I know the Buffalo Sabres last year spent 17 days. And that's the difference when you play in the East and you play in the West. The teams out here, especially in the Pacific Division, get used to it. Yeah, Barry Melrose and Rick Lee and Ron Wilson won't have much sympathy for Scotty Bowman and Pat Burns who have a much tougher road schedule this year. It's commonplace for the teams on the coast. Six minutes, 43 seconds left. And the Jets trail by two, have their big gunners out. Kachuk to take the draw, but the Kings control. Kept in at the line by Manson. Charlie Huddy behind the net. Solani for checking, gives it away. Kachuk passing Jamnov, and Solani with an open net missed the pass. Oh, he snuck a peek and missed the puck. Todd starts back. Drills the shot wide. Jets coming that close to making it 4-3. Tamo Solani doesn't miss many like that. Here he comes. Across the line. Passes it across. And McSorley there to intercept the pass. Manson can't keep it in. 
Charlie, how do you hit to Conacher? Chasing after it, Kevin Brown, Chevalde out of the net. Dallas Drake, watched by Donnelly. Manson dangerously in front, Wilkinson now. His pass broken up by Long. Manson takes a hit from Donnelly, and Manson was leveled. Kings have played a robust game. Five minutes, 20 seconds left. Emerson clears it in. Groshek after it first for Winnipeg. In front it goes. Drake had it go off a skate. Kevin Brown, nice pass to Donnelly. Up against Brent Thompson. Donnelly just leaves it behind the net, and he'll head to the bench as the Kings complete a change. Now under five minutes to go. 4-2 Kings, McSorley with it at center. Tockett puts it in front, but Newman in there for Winnipeg. Alice Drake with Kachuk. Here's Keith Kachuk trying to barge through, can't do it. Out at center ice, Tockett, Gretzky loose on right wing, and Newman and broke it up. Over it goes to Emerson. Emerson's pass ends up on the stick of Curry. Curry, a good job defensively, floating back in the middle, good position, intercept that shot. Here comes Todd. Curry on the backhand, tied up by Newman and Kevin Todd. Passed in front and Curry couldn't get to it. Newman is there. Exactly four minutes left. Third period, 4-2 L.A. Shamnov. Can't get it through to Solani. And back come the Kings. John Bruce and the fans cheering Bruce on as he looks for the hat trick. Lacroix couldn't find the puck against Solani. Kachuk bumped along the boards by Long. Long trying to work it free against Shamnov. And the Kings move forward again, led by Sador. On left wing to Lacroix, but offside the call as Sador took a hit at the line. Storr stepped out in front of Domi and goes down as icing is the call. And Ty Domi will draw a bit of a crowd. And Terry Gregson's going to talk to Jamie Storr after this one. That's a rookie mistake. You're not going to do that and take the chance of taking an interference penalty with a two-goal lead and less than five minutes left in the game. You'll learn pretty quickly, especially against Ty Domi. Not only are you taking the chance of taking the penalty, taking the chance of getting your head knocked up. Storr is out. He's protecting his defenseman. Domi knocks him down. There's two injured goaltenders already for the LA Kings. It'll be a trivia question. Who was the backup when Jamie Storr got his first NHL win? You know, Chris. Not uh, very many other people. Well, Polly Yox is the backup goaltender. I wanted you to get the pronunciation. Yeah, OK, thanks. Polly Yox. Played for the Swiss national team, drafted by the Kings. He's the backup goaltender. Played in Phoenix the last couple seasons. And Wayne Gretzky on the ice, trying to help preserve the first NHL win for one of his boarders. Gretzky has the rookie store, and Matt Johnson staying at his home. Wonder how much rent he's charging. <laughs> Gretzky almost stole the loose puck, but Newman is able to get it to center ice. Gretzky has it again with Curry and Tockett. Tockett snaps the shot. Chevalier took it high. Curry was pulled down, but Shannon starting back for LA or Winnipeg with Domi on right wing. Domi in the corner taken to the boards. Trying to kick it free, and it goes to McSorley. Around the boards, and the Kings not taking any chances to send it the length of the ice. Thompson touching it, icing the call. Tomorrow, a Super Hockey matchup on Super Bowl Sunday, coast to coast. The Flyers and Canadians at the Montreal Forum. That's at 1.30 Eastern, 10.30 a.m. Pacific. Next Saturday's doubleheader features Brett Lindros and the Islanders in Montreal to be followed by a Toronto-Calgary rematch at the Saddledome. Both games available across the 
Tire, CBC Network. Islanders were playing pretty well and now lost to Tampa at home today, tonight. Hard to pick up some trends, teams that looked like they were. You pull the goalie now, you have a faceoff deep in the LA zone, you're down by two. Why not take the chance? Sure. John Paddock not ready to gamble yet. Drake and Emerson with Groshek out for the faceoff. They win the draw, but the puck slid by Brent Thompson out to center. Thompson didn't see the puck coming, but now Emerson has it. He's checked, and Conacher starts back with Drews. Again, the fans chanting Drews as they'd like to see him get the hat trick. The Jet rookie Groshek down the left side, Stork loving it down, and Sador up on the right wing, kept in by Winnipeg. And now it's Conacher rolling it into the Winnipeg zone with 90 seconds left. 4-2 Kings. Drake with one move but lost it to Gretzky. Gretzky hangs on, rolls it in. Curry looking for it. And Solani. Past Rick Tockett. His pass intercepted by Gretzky. Thompson off the boards, out to center for Kachuk. One minute to go. Third period. And one minute, less than a minute left in. The Kings' winless streak, unless the Jets can count too quick. Shovel days out of the net. Tockett out at center. That's broken up by Jamnov. Now Jitnik. Out to center ice. Ulanov is there. Jamnov with some room. Alexei Jamnov drops to Newman in the shot, deflecting high. Half minute to go. Open net. Tock it to Curry, to Gretzky, and it was broken up by Ulanov, who lost to Gretzky. Gretzky pulled down, and we have a penalty coming up, and Gretzky says that should be a penalty shot with an empty net. Now, Terry Craigson is talking to Yari Curry. Talking to Marty McSorley about it. Igor Ulanov hauled Gretzky down. Gretzky stripped Ulanov of the puck at the empty net. Ulanov doesn't see Gretzky. Gretzky picks his pocket from behind. Ulanov gives him the hook, knocks him down. Good case for a penalty shot in this one. Or is it an automatic goal? If you throw a stick from the bench, it's an automatic goal. Well, you see Ulanov sitting in the box as Gretzky continues to plead his case. They haven't put the penalty up on the board. Igor Ulanov is sitting in the penalty box. Igor Ulanov, two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty, 1938. I wonder about that one. I'll have to get my rule book out after this game and see what the options are on giving goals. Because that was an empty netter. Gretzky had some momentum going towards the net. Ulanov was standing still. That would have been an automatic. Instead, it's just a power play and with just 21.3 seconds to go, Kings about to post their first win in five starts. Jitnik looking for Gretzky, who rolls it to Shevelday. 99 without a point tonight so far, and it would be the first time this season he's been held off the score sheet. And probably played the fewest minutes that he's played in any game this season because Kevin Todd and Robert Long has played so well at center for the LA Kings. Battling the flu, Gretzky has had a break tonight. Eagles and Curry to face it off. Jets win the draw and send it the length of the ice. And the 
countdown on here at the Great Western Forum. As LA will move to 1-3-1, and, and Winnipeg is 1-4-1, and, and G.B. Storr has his first NHL victory. The LA Kings talked about it being a must game, and they played like it was supposed to be a must game. Robert Long scratched by Barry Melrose the last game. He bounced back, had a strong game. The defense without Rob Blake for more than half the game. They had a strong game as a group. Goaltending, very solid, although there wasn't a whole lot of good scoring chances for the Jets. And the reason? The Kings played a good team defense game, and that's their new philosophy, play team defense. J.B. Storr with 22 saves for his first career win. Here's how the scoring unfolded. Timo Solani started it quickly for the Jets, but then Sidor Lacroix made it 2-1 after a period here at the Great Western Forum. And the supporting cast did the job tonight. Nelson Emerson tied it late in the second, but 49 seconds or 41 seconds later, it was John Drews, his first of the night, made it 3-2. And Drews went back to work early in the third period, his second of the night. Provided the insurance marker, Kings out shooting the Jets 33-24 on the evening. Once again, the final score, Los Angeles 4, Winnipeg 2. In just a moment, our Molson three-star selection. Happy consumers throng to Jean Couture for the return of PJC Days. This week, eight rolls of Royale bathroom tissue is just $1.79. The Duffies invite a few of their closest friends to celebrate. All right, today I'll prove why Unitel's 60% off Saturdays is bigger than Bell's. Bell's so-called 60% discount is compared to their own regular rates. Unitel's 60% off Super Saturdays is on top of Bell's usual 60% discount. Hey, that's a pretty hot offer. How hot? Allow me to demonstrate. 10 minutes, Toronto to Vancouver. With Bell's regular Saturday rates, $4.80. With Unitel, oh look, only $1.92 which means that Unitel's... Sidor of the Kings, his first goal of the season to get it started for L.A. The second star, Eric Lacroix, his second goal of this season puts the Kings into the lead at 2-1, a lead they would never relinquish. And the first star of tonight's game, a big game for John Drews, two goals, including the winner, goals three and four for Los Angeles as they go on to a 4-2 victory over the Winnipeg Jets. Our postgame show continues from the Forum in just a moment. developed by Canadians. Canola is a made-at-home success story. Products like canola oil set quality standards for the rest of the world. And the Canadian canola industry generates thousands of jobs and contributes billions of dollars to our economy. Annual exports of canola oil, meal, and seed have created business opportunities as far away as Japan and Russia. Canola, good for Canada, it's, it's it's an exciting feeling just because uh, you know it, it's it's taken so long for you know us us to just get a win on the board. But uh, you know uh, we played hard every game, and uh, you know it just shows that if you keep working, that uh, you you can do it. I know that you owe a lot to your dad, who's a goalie coach back in Brampton, Ontario. He coaches his own Pee Wee team, and he taught you how to play net. He did a great job. But uh, I know he's got to be very proud tonight. And what do you have to say to your dad? Well, you know, I I just like to say thanks for everything. You know. Uh, you know, I, I, I pretty much call him every day and uh, tell him what's going on. And uh, I'm going to call him tonight, but, uh, you know, I just want to say thanks for everything. He's, he's given me the opportunity to, you know, uh, pursue my dream. And, uh, you know, my mom and my family, you know, they, they've uh, put money away for my equipment when I was younger. And, uh, you know, I, I owe everything to them. So, uh, you know, I just like to say thanks for everything. And, you know, it was our first win. Did you expect to get your chance this early? Kelly Rudy and Rob Stauber both have uh, slight injuries. Uh, and you were really thrown into the fray. Well, you know, it, it, it's, it was a tough decision for the coaches because, you know, uh, it, it was they, they kind of got thrown into it, you know, whereas, uh, you know, if it was the, the other way, you know, it, it would have been whereas, you know, uh, they, they would have had the choice to put me in where, you know, Kelly and Rob both got hurt, so they had to put me in. And, uh, you know, I just went out there and they told me they, if they ever got a chance just to work hard and, you know, that's what we've been doing and uh, it's paying off, so it's working well. One last question. How do you, how do you compare this to winning the gold medal in the World Junior Championships? Well, this is a totally different feeling. You know, this is my dream. Uh, you know, it, it's it's been an unreal, unreal start so far, and you know, I'm I'm just looking forward to keep getting better and better. But uh, you know, they're just two different things. This is my dream. This is what I've been dreaming of ever since I was a little kid, and 
You know, it's still pretty hard to believe. Uh, me and Matt Johnson were talking, and we still can't believe we're in the NHL right now. But, uh, you know, it's going to hit us pretty soon, and I'm sure we're going to be pretty, uh, you know, excited. Jamie, congratulations. You certainly deserve it. Thanks a lot. Jamie Storr gets his first win of the season. His coach, Barry Melrose, will join me in just a moment. Right now, let's go upstairs and join another Brampton native, Chris Cuthbert. Chris? Yes, yeah, Scott, funny. Jamie Storr was traded Thursday by Owen Sound to Windsor, but I don't think the Spitfires are going to see Jamie Storr this year. I don't think so. And it, it was so nice to hear him thanking his parents for buying those, that goaltending equipment. I know when I was growing up, they, nobody liked to buy the more expensive sticks, and the pads were so expensive, and he always used hand-me-downs. And thanking his parents wasn't that nice, but how calm and cool after his first NHL win. And that's the way he played, and that's the way he played in the early training camp. And that's why the coaches had no qualms about throwing him into the fire. Big night for uh, Jamie Storr, but an even bigger night for the Kings. And I think if they're going to be successful, they have to have nights like this where, where the uh, supporting cast has to play a major role like they did tonight. They really do, and they have to play de team defense. And you look at the number of quality scoring chances the Jets had tonight, and there wasn't a whole lot of them. And everybody played well, even without Rob Blake. I think other people picked up the game. Daryl Sador played very well, Marty McSorley, and the forwards all came back to check. Good win for the Kings and uh, a tough trip to uh, California for the Jets who go home without a win in three starts in four days. Scott? All right, Chris. Well, as we said, Barry Melrose is here. You have your first win under your belt. Uh, Sam McMaster was saying before the game that you guys were working hard enough to win. You just weren't getting it done. We work very hard. I, I can't fault my team uh, the effort they put in or the way we've been playing. We haven't given up uh, any bad goals. Uh, we're giving, cut down our goals against. We cut down our shots. We cut down our quality chances. We're playing very physical, and we just got to keep doing that. The guys have to believe that's the way to win. And, and tonight we got key goaltending, and we scored key goals, which we haven't done. I'd like to ask you two questions, one about youth and one about age. How about Jamie Storr, 19 years old, comes in here and uh, gets a nice victory? Well, you know, he played better in St. Louis the other night. He opened the Kiel Center, 20,000 people. He was fantastic that night. I think the people see what kind of goaltender he is. This guy is an elite goaltender. He's so confident. He let in a soft goal, but yet he bounced back and, and closed the door in the third period. So we're very, very excited. We didn't quite count on him being accelerated this quickly and playing in the NHL, but he's been fantastic. Quickly, about the age, you have 10 guys in your roster that are 30 years or better. How are you getting too long in the tooth? Well, we've, we're adding more young guys. Eric Lacroix, uh, Brown tonight, Todd's young, uh, Jidnick, Blake, Sidor all young. Uh, Robert Lang's young. We've got Chevalier and Redmond in the minors. So we, we're getting younger, but our, our key players are older players without a doubt. We've got we've to make some young players without a doubt. Well, very congratulations, and it's nice to see Jamie Storr get his first win. Nice to see the Kings on the Thank you very recovery. much. Thank you. All right, Barry Melrose, the coach of the Los Angeles Kings. They defeat the Winnipeg Jets tonight 4-2 to claim their first victory of this season, their first victory in five starts. Uh, starts. Well, coming up, a big weekend of hockey on Molson Hockey Night in Canada on CBC. On Super Sunday, the Philadelphia Flyers take on the Montreal Canadiens at the Forum. That starts at 1.30 p.m. Eastern. 10.30 a.m. Pacific time. And then it is a doubleheader. And next week, Calgary loses to Toronto 2-1. L.A. over Winnipeg 4-2. Good night from Inglewood, California.